you know, this stranger, Debbie <laughs> and Jordan. We're going to show you uh, basic homework beam complex. So we're going to start off with the high toe folds, 30 seconds right and left. You can put your hands on your hips or you can put your hands over, but remember, if you put your hands on your hips, do not hunch. Make sure that your shoulders are back, chest is up. All right, so we're gonna do what we would be doing, right foot in front, 30 seconds. I'm not gonna do 30 seconds. I'm just gonna show you as high as you can. Make sure you're pressing your big toe. Uh, squeeze everything in your left. Same thing. Now we're gonna do high toe walks. But when you walk, it's not just like this. As your foot steps forward, you wanna be able to point your feet. Point your feet, point your feet, point your feet. When you get to the end, crown, turn, open, and again. You can start off with one of each. Um, we're gonna go front, side, and back. Uh, then add up to three times each position. So when we're gonna turn around, we're gonna do the side. Arms out, again, point. Point together, point, point together, point, point together, and then stay where you're at. Go the other way, because you gotta do both sides. Correct, then you crown, turn, and we're gonna go backwards. And ex extend your foot back, point, 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 point. And that'll work your calf and your Achilles, everything is strengthen up your feet position. We're going to do toe rises. On toe rises, don't start off with large numbers. Start off with 10, right and left. So we're going to put right foot in front. We're going to go fast up, slow down, fast up, slow down, left foot. Up, down, fast up, slow down, sideways. I like to do these if you don't have a beam do these on the bottom of a stair because what you need to do, we're going to do it over here. Turn around, face me. When you do your toe rises, you want your heels to go lower, then rise up. Up, and then slow down, fast up. So you want to get full range because what's happening is you're not jumping right now and you have to maintain that your Achilles and everything in your calves stay supple. All right, we'll go back to our line. Uh, we're going to do what's called the five count. And my advice is to put your hands on your hips because we'll start with, try to get, we'll start with one, but try to build up to three to five. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, then two, three, four, five, keep your hips tight, hold, two, three, four, five, up, two, three, four, five, down. That's the sequence. You would do it right, then you would do it left. Okay, build one, try to get up to three, and if you're really good at it, your legs are in shape, go to five. So we're going on to number five. Five times right, and five times left single leg squats. If you can do it by yourself, great. If not, ask for mom and dad's help, and work on that. Try to get, again, build up. Five is the max. If you can start with one, make one, that'll be great. Uh, two passes, uh, side to middle turns. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna face this way. Arms start here, you're gonna come down, forward, open, turn. Again, down, <laughs> forward, open, turn. This way, yes. <laughs> okay, just working on changing a little bit and working so that the ankle is turning on B. Okay, uh, it says here two passes. Now the next one is passes and coupes. Left. We're going to do passes. So you're going to get your arm, you're going to go to passe. Now, here's a little trick. Now, before you extend your leg, lift your knee, now extend your leg. Hold, and then back down here. Lift your knee, hold, and back down. What they're asking for is five times five seconds. 
Start with one time five seconds, then build yourself up. Sideways. Again, lift your knee a little bit and hold. If you can get it further here, uh, Jordan has a little bit tight hips, so you're not doing that. <laughs> and back to passe. And lift, hold, extend, turn out, and down. Backwards, put it behind, and extend, hold. Try to keep your chest up, working the hamstrings and the back. If it pinches a little bit on the back, you're feeling it. You're, you're doing it right, okay? Lunge walks. These are a little bit difficult. Your arms are going to go out. You're going to you're going to kick on toe, lunge, kick. Oh. No, without bending your back leg. We're going to do it again. That's okay. <laughs> it's good they can see the mistake. Right, okay, kick, lunge, hold it. Oh, ready? Is. Now you're going to go. Lift your. Don't go. So yeah, lift, mm -hmm. lift. Put your weight on the front. So you have to be able that you're moving back a little bit. So they, and lift your back leg. Like that. Up. Extend, step, and kick. There you go. Lunge, <laughs> lunge, you. lift your heel, extend, lift your leg, and up. Okay, those are very hard. So, you know, work, spend some time with it, practice it. You don't want to be so far in front that you can't lift your heel. You want to lunge so that you can lift your heel, lift your back leg, and extend and kick. Okay? All right. One, two, three, hold, one, two, three, hold. Remember those and then hop. Okay, so you're gonna go. One, two, three, hold, two, three, one, two, three, hold, two, three. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three, hold, two, three, one, two, three, hold, two, three. Leave your foot as high as you can. Jump to the middle. Don't let that one. Now, she's hopping. Is that what I want? I want you, if this is your foot, when you jump, I want you to jump, push point. That's the hard part. If you need hand, there you go. So you're working the foot through. Obviously, some of you are not gonna have your leg up here to hold. It's okay if your leg drops down to here. You're working the ankle. Do you feel it? Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, both sides. So you go one, you go one, two, Three, hold, two, three, one, two, three. Hold, two, three, hop, 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 hop to the middle. Repeat the same thing, get to the end. Step crown, turn, do the other leg now, okay? Next, kicks. Now when we do kicks, I always see a lot of people, they, they do kicks and they just step. It's not how it's supposed to be, I'm gonna give it to you the way they expect you to do it at National Team Camp. Arms go up, and every time you go, you go present. You're going to step on toe, you're gonna to kick, but you're gonna pull your foot really quick down. Remember those? Kick, pull. Kick, pull. Kick, pull. Kick, pull. Okay, sideways, you're gonna turn. Ready, side. When you do the same and you present, bring your arm in front as you kick sideways. Ready? Ready you no, most of the people do it. I'll show them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> up, 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 up. Everything is always finished. Wherever we start, we make sure we look nice when we start. We make sure we look nice. Arms are going to go down, up, open for the back kicks. Okay, now we're going to do, um, I think I'd like to put, now some coaches like when they do pivots, the arms here, some coaches like the arms here, do what you like, yeah, do what you like. We're going to go step, pivot, pivot, step, pivot, pivot, step, pivot, 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 now I'm going to explain something, pivot, pivot, okay, so you would do both sides. When doing pivots, you're going to turn. Think about turning also your whole body as one. Push your hip, push a little bit in your shoulders, chin up as you're turning your heels. Pivot, lock, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay. All right. Now, number 12. Wow, we're really getting going here. 
Um, we're going to do standing. I don't know, is this good to turn? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is the quarter Yes. So we're going to start with hands on hips. And we're going to do quarter, 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 quarter. Get that going. Sometimes we'll do both sides because once you develop on one side, you have to develop on the other. Quarter, 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 quarter. Okay. Now, we're going to do the half. Half. And again, everything has to take. If you have to, put your arms out here. Half. Squeeze your, squeeze your bummy. Half. Correct. Okay, both sides. So, you know, your, your not so good side might be a little bit rough, but that's okay. That's what you got. You got all the time in the world to do that. <laughs> Full is kind of funny. Just do the best you can, but leave your arms out here. Try to make it all the way around. And the secret is that your core, your hips, everything is tight and work your body as a whole. So the heels have to snap around. That's why it's called heel snaps. All right? Work on it till you get your balance, like I'm doing right now, right? Um, full turns. This is a little bit of my pet peeve. Now, by USA rules, you can go here, you can go here, and you can go here. I like straight legs. That's how I like it. I don't know how you like it. Just straight. Oh, could be because I coached her when she was younger. Okay. <laughs> All right, so another pet peeve, arms up. I like to come straight up the side. You do not want to do this in your turn. So if you have difficulty, at first, just think, just do sets. One, up, up, hold. Okay, so that's how the position, once you got that, then you can do the full turn. And up, great. Okay. All right, we're gonna do, I know with a lot of stuff, people do landings and their arms are out. I'm gonna do some check jumps. We're gonna start a check jump, do a straight jump, and check your arms in front. Basically, her bun's sticking out, thank you. <laughs> but uh, you wanna be able to pull all your center of gravity over the beam, so that's what a check jump. Sometimes you might get a balance deduction, but you're not falling off the beam. You could be over here. If you check it, it'll try to keep you on beam. So what we do, do like two straight jump checks. Check. Check. Tuck jump. Check. Check. Split jump. B, a B. Do a good split jump. <laughs> Oh, you can. Split <laughs> oh, so check. A little quicker, get your hip under. Ready? And split check. Great. And the best thing, I don't know, do I have anything more here? Oh, I do. Um, straddle check. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding. I don't even wait. Just a baby. Baby straddle. Yay! Hey, she survived. Okay. Next, now we're going to do the wolf. Get down on the ground first. Show us what a wolf position is. One leg is folded under. No, I like the leg. Go on your knees. On your knees. There you go. The best. Step. Right. Just real quick. All right. Okay. She's done. Okay. It's called old bones. Okay. Ready? And up. Okay. It's okay. Except she has to tooth in your leg. It's got to be at least horizontal. Okay? No, it wasn't. It was down a little bit. I'm just, remember, I'm a judge. And I'm <laughs> no, I, just, I can't tell where my body is anymore. Yeah, that was better. Okay, and the last one, which I very rarely see, is Pike. I can do this. Oh, that's, yes, that's right, dear. Put that in. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, for number 15, you're going to do uh, five split lead checks. We're just going to do one. She's going to do split lead to check. Do you want me to hold it back a little bit before I do check? Yeah, show the shape. 
and chuck, 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 right in. Now, you don't want to hold that leg up so it does this. Just hold the minute. Just show the shape, then get to chuck. Chuck. Get your bum. Because you have to what? If you land your chuck and your bum is back too far, are these muscles engaged? No. You've got to get your hammies and, and your glutes engaged so you can do that great jump right after. Okay. The other one. You don't have to switch legs, do you? but I can't promise it's going to look very good. We'll do baby switch leap or anything we can get. We'll be good. It's the same thing. We do, we do your switch leap check. Nice. Now, you notice she steps through with her check. That is acceptable. <laughs> some people put it behind. Some people put it in front. Just remember, what happens is if you do switch leap and you do split half, then that leg behind is in front. All right. Uh, Ooh, let's see. Oh, okay, we did that. Number 17, uh, floor arms for proper uh, jumps. Do a half jump, full turn, and make sure you set. Jump half turn, jump full turn. Now, did you notice, go back, how did she prep her arms? She goes, so she goes slow, just do just the arms. Down and up, okay? Now, I love these, and I did not invent that. Uh, I kind of watched Mary Lee Tracy's team, and they do that. They did this 20 some years ago, but I, I took it as my own. Is arms routines. So you go through your routine. You go on high toes, squeeze your body, and all you do is work on your expression and your arms. And at the end of that, what you can do is, on the line, do 10 beam routines. Or, I have specials. If you do a no wobble beam routine, which I'm not there to see, but your mom and dad can watch, you get two, counselor two. Okay, so if you can do a no wobble routine, you only have five no wobble routines, or 10 routines, just on a line, just to keep yourself up, okay? All right, see you to my next thing. Bye-bye.